What is inductive and Hall effect RPM sensors? Operating principles and specification. Diagnostic and testing procedures. Test can be used. Frequently asked questions. What is inductive and Hall effect RPM sensors? Mainly are used for measuring the RPM and determining the position of crankshaft or camshaft at engine management systems, as well as measuring the speed of the wheels at ABS systems, ESP systems, etc. The RPM sensors typically can be Hall or inductive type. The operation of these sensors is fundamentally similar in all instances, although the construction can vary depending on the type of sensor, its intended use or manufacturer application. Operating Principles and Specification Inductive Sensor Operating Principles and Specification The inductive sensor, also known as magnetic pickup sensor, during the operational work, as result of inductive effect, in the sensor's coil is producing the oscillating voltage, i.e. one kind of sinusoidal waveform signal. When the trigger wheel with the teeth passes in enough close distance to the pole pin of the sensor, the magnetic field surrounding the coil is changed. As the result of the magnetic field changes, in the coil a voltage is induced, which is proportional to the strength and rate of change of the magnetic field. One complete oscillation is produced for each tooth that passes beside to the sensor pole pin. In this photo above shows the basic integral components and the shape of the generated signal of an inductive sensor. Depending upon the manufacturer application and type of the sensor, the electrical resistance of the coil is typically in the range between 500 ohms and 1500 ohms. In some extreme cases, the lowest value can be about 200 ohms, as well as in some cases, the highest value can be up to 2500 ohms. The voltage signal produced by the sensor depends on the speed of the trigger wheel and the number of turns in the coil, so an output voltage could be expected between 1 volt and 2 volt during the engine cranking for example but in cases at higher RPM, can expect it more. The output voltage signal produced by the sensor is weak, i.e. low energy level, so could easily be degraded by other external stronger signals, such as the ignition system for example. For that reason, to eliminate the external influences, the signal wires from the sensor to the control unit are usually shielded with a coaxial coated wires type of protection. Hall Effect Sensor Operating Principles and Specification Unlike inductive sensors, the output signal from a Hall effect sensor is not affected by the rate of change of the magnetic field. The produced output voltage typically is in the range of millivolts and is additionally amplified by integrated electronics fitted inside of the sensor housing. In photograph shows a typical build of a Hall effect sensor. The final output voltage signal usually is in digital waveform pulses. The output signal of the sensor can be either positive or negative with peak voltage usually up to 5 volts or 12 volts, depending upon the type of the integrated electronics and requirements of the used system. The amplitude of the output signal remains constant, only the frequency increases proportionally with RPM. Unlike inductive sensors which generate a voltage signal by itself, the Hall effect sensors must be additionally supplied by external voltage needed for integrated electronics. The usual supplying voltage is mainly 5 volts but in some cases can be 12 volts. Diagnostic and Testing Procedures Inductive Sensor Diagnostic and Testing Procedures Unplug the sensor and check that the electrical resistance of the inductive coil is roughly between 500 ohms and 1500 ohms. If the reading value is drastically different, including zero or infinite, replace the sensor. In some extreme cases, the lowest resistance can be about 200 ohms, as well as in some cases, the highest resistance can be up to 2,500 ohms. Check the size of the air gap between the sensor and the trigger wheel, the value should be 0.8 to 1.5 millimeters. Check the cleanliness of the sensor pin, sometimes may have cumulated metal turnings. Check the continuity and condition of the wires, connectors, terminals, and the condition of the shielding. Unplug the sensor and check that there is an output AC voltage when cranking the engine, for engine RPM sensors, or when a wheel is rotated, for ABS wheel sensors. The output voltage signal could be expected between 1 volt and 2 volt during the engine cranking for example, but in cases at higher RPM, can expect it more. 
Also, this operation can be performed and when the connector of the sensor is plugged in. Hall Effect Sensor Diagnostic and Testing Procedures Check the power supply to the sensor. The usual supplying voltage is 5 volt, in some cases can be 12 volt. Check the size of the air gap between the sensor and the trigger wheel, the value should be 0.8 to 1.5 millimeters. Check the continuity and condition of the wires, connectors, and terminals. Check the cleanliness of the sensor pin, sometimes may have cumulated metal turnings. Check that there is an output signal when cranking the engine, for engine RPM sensors, or when a wheel is rotated, for ABS wheel sensors. Unlike inductive sensors, at Hall sensors the connector must be plugged in, because is needed power supply for integrated electronic components, which are inside of the sensor. Test can be used. LED lamp, electrical multimeter, or oscilloscope. When is used test LED lamp, during the engine cranking, the LED should fast blinking according to the engine RPM, but in cases at higher RPM, the blinking is difficult to be follow. Then, is better to use multimeter or oscilloscope for check the frequency as well as voltage of the signal. When testing the signal of a sensor, never use a test lamp with tungsten filament, may cause an extra current overload and produce damage of the sensor. It is recommended always to use some of the more sensitive tools, like test lamp with LED light or electrical multimeter. For example, LED lamp, electrical multimeter, oscilloscope. When is used test LED lamp, during the engine cranking, the LED should fast blinking according to the engine RPM, but in cases at higher RPM, the blinking is difficult to be follow. Then, is better to use multimeter or oscilloscope for check the frequency as well as voltage of the signal. Frequently asked questions. Are speed sensors polarity sensitive? The polarity changes from positive to negative as the tone ring passes by the magnetic field. This frequency changes with wheel speed. Also, since these sensors use a DC voltage, they can detect not only the speed of the wheel, but the direction of travel. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using Hall effect sensors? When packed immune to dust, air, water whereas capacitive sensor may get triggered by dust. It can measure zero speed. Non-contact operation so there is no wear and friction, hence unlimited number of operating cycles. Highly repeatable operation. What is a Hall effect sensor made of? Hall effect sensors consist basically of a thin piece of rectangular p-type semiconductor material such as gallium arsenide, indium antimonide or indium arsenide passing a continuous current through itself. Is a Hall effect sensor digital or analog? Hall effect sensors are broadly divided into two categories, analog and digital. The analog sensors produce a continuously varying voltage output while the digital version has just two output voltages, high or low. Is a Hall effect sensor active or passive? A Hall effect sensor is a sensor that measures the change of the strength of the magnetical field. When a little or big magnet changes position relative to the Hall sensor, the voltage output of the sensor will change. This sensor can, for example, be used measuring the moving parts of a device.